Hello, welcome to another episode of Ginger Fisherman. Well, I'm falling in. <laughs> today I'm targeting big perch, really what I want. I'll be fishing live baits today. Um, as everyone knows, live baits is a very good way of catching big perch. And in my last underwater video, where I actually wanted to catch pike, I caught two very nice perch over two pound, one of which went two seven, which was a fantastic fish. So it's given me a bit of a buzz and I'm out here today to try and catch some. For the first time ever, I'm gonna be using circle hooks. Never used them before. But I really want to avoid um, deep hooking fish because in that last video I actually did catch one about half a pound. I didn't show it to the camera, uh, I just released it when it was in the water because it was actually deep hooked, it was hooked in the stomach lining. I managed to get the hook out straight away but it was bleeding, it wasn't very nice to see. And from what I've heard is circle hooks, um, there's less chance of uh, getting a deep hooked fish. I mean of course there's always an opportunity um, for them to get deep hooked if you leave them too long, no matter what hook you're using. But apparently this does reduce it. So you can see there's quite a big uh, circle hook. That's because I want it to be able to get a clean hook hold in the corner of the perch's mouth or pike's mouth if they decide to take it. It's essentially, once again, the um, pattern has to set up. But I've got a very short length of line from the lead up to the swivel. And that's because the perch seems to be lying, lying quite low in the river at the minute. They're not coming up as high as they was doing in the summertime when it was warmer because it's colder they're hanging to the bottom and i'm hoping that this is going to be the method that's going to end up catching me a perch so right, what i'll do is get out there get the underwater camera rolling get the live bait on and see if we can get a perch that bait out seems to work a treat. There we are, nice perch. It's no monster, but it's uh, probably a fish of over a pound. There we are. Lovely redfin. We'll get him back. Wow, so far well impressed with the circle hooks, well well impressed. <clears throat> so far it's two fish hooked, and two fish landed, that's probably a better hook to land rate than using treble hooks for me actually. You see there, the circle hook, right in the corner of the mouth. Absolute beautiful hook hold. And an absolute beast of a birch. Look at that. Wow. Over two pound easy. Um, maybe two, three, two, four, something like that. Fantastic fish. Well impressed. Look at the colour of those fins. Absolutely stunning.
up rate on these circle hooks is a lot better than I expected. When I asked for help on uh, one of the fishing pages on Facebook, circle hooks were very much 50-50. People either said they really liked them and they were fantastic, or the rubbish, rubbish hook hooks and you still deep hook fish. Well, the hook actually came out of this one, but it was very carefully hooked right in the front of the lip, which is just how I like it. And once again, it's another monster. <laughs> Look at that. Hey. It's enough. Calm down. Calm down. It's another fish which is probably about two pounds. Absolute pristine as well. Absolutely fantastic. I'm over the moon. For those of you perch fanatics that get, uh, that are a little bit sensitive, <laughs> you may want to look away now. Well, thankfully, he split the hog. The reason why I said about being sensitive is uh, this fella, as you saw by the footage, came on this little fella. And he really enjoyed his meal. <laughs> There we are, fantastic specimen that is, absolutely pristine condition. Mm, probably getting on for half a pound. Great sport though, I'll put him back now. Well, that tiny perch definitely did not go in vain. 
because after that fish you just saw me catch it on, it, it was a goner. Bless him. But for his send off, I flicked him back out as a dead bait and uh, I wish I'd have been recording from the bank actually because the take was so fast. Literally just a, a few minutes, maybe even a minute after I put the other fish back, flicked it back out and uh, these cannibalistic perch have <laughs> gonna caught me another one and he won't stop wriggling. God, I shouldn't rest him in the net. Tell you what, people say that uh, circle hooks are difficult to remove, but every single fish, when they've been flapping around in the net, have actually removed the hooks themselves. This one's hooked right on the beak, right on the tip of its mouth. Absolute perfect hookup. I tell you what, I'm going to be using circle hooks definitely in the future. Look at that. It's a very, very long fish, a lot of stripes. He's a big perch, not got a lot of weight to him yet, but uh, definitely a winter time is going to be a two plus at the minute. I'm going to say he's maybe a pound and a half. But still a fantastic looking fish.